What's going on, everyone? So in episode four, the latest episode that came out, we saw Randall finally starting to come around, right? Dude's been a bit of an a-hole. Dude has you know, really kind of tried to go against the group, against the grain. It's been a nightmare in a lot of ways. And finally, him and Boyd are sharing these moments together and, you know, having this conversation. Boyd's trying to trap one of these monsters, study the monsters, figure it out. And Randall says, hey, all right, fine, I'm in, right? Things that I saw... Things that I had to go through, uh, you know, being in the, the music box curse and all that stuff, right? There's things worse than death. I, I want to help. I want to be a team player now, right? And you see Boyd basically say, like, hey, you know, all right, cool. Come around, right? So do you think that these two are going to team up and and kind of help capture, capture one of these monsters? And, of course, Tabitha and the ambulance comes along and throws a wrench in the whole thing. And then Boyd is left with an ultimatum where... Oh, hey, he has to make a decision. Uh, do I save Randall or try to save Randall and potentially we all die? Or do I let them have Randall and save everybody that's on the ambulance, including myself? And look, he made the right choice. You save the, the group rather than the one. And so that ends up happening. And then at the end of the episode, you see Randall end up on top of the ambulance alive. And my original thought and the thing that kind of makes a lot of sense and I still think is probably most likely, is Randall is now a casualty by Boyd in which this town is trying to break Boyd. Boyd just had a conversation with Donna talking about how much it, it, it is bothering him and eating him away, that and the guilt is in, affecting him that he just left Randall. He didn't even think about it. He just left him, right? And then moments later, Randall shows up on top of the ambulance alive. I think that is one of those things where it's like, here you go. This is your problem now. Now you you left Randall. Randall finally came around, boy. Now you have to live with your guilt. Now you have to live with your, your decision, right? I still think that that is incredibly likely. However, Fatima, at the end of that episode... You saw Fatima starting to pick at Nikki. Nikki ends up dying. Fatima appears to start to eat her a little bit. You know, digging in, getting blood. Don't want to describe it too much just because YouTube, I don't want to end up getting flagged on the video or anything. But you see that gross scene. If you've seen it, you know. And you can gather... That this is going to continue to build. That this is going to continue to be a thing. She went from vegetables to now people. And I don't think that it's just going to stop with drinking, you know, a couple fingertips full of blood. I think it is going to escalate and continue even further. And I've even talked about how what if the monsters end up aiding uh, Fatima. Right? What if Fatima... And, you know, she doesn't want to kill people. She doesn't want to take these people out or anything like that. And so she's like, you know, dealing and trying to suppress the thirst. And somebody's out and you have the monsters and they're like, hey, you know, like, hey, we're about to eat and kill this person. Or you can. They're going to die either way. No matter what happens right now. So either we're going to do it. And then we're going to eat, or you can eat, and you can do it. And I could see her potentially finally breaking. And I do think that this is going to be a real build-up. This is going to be a real kind of, like, I think you're going to see the continued metamorphosis and transition of Fatima into this bloodthirsty potential monster, right? Could they end up saving her or, you know, kind of suppressing it one way or another? Yeah, it's very possible. But I do think that it's going to continue to build. Now... I did make a video and talked about Elgin. Elgin is clearly tied to Fatima. He is the one that is supposed to help Fatima some way, somehow. He hasn't listened to the spirit long enough to, to try to figure out and break down what is going on and how can I help, how can I fix it. And you see Tilly kind of having this connection. Right? There's this kind of like weird triangle thing going on with those three. And I'm also curious to see if how much does, as Fatima starts to change. How does it impact Ellis? And I think that there is a potential aftermath and blowback that could impact Boyd, right? Because if this place really wants to break Boyd, what better way to do it than to break his son and now he has to deal and pick up the pieces of his son? 
right? Now he's distracted, right? Like you it just, there's a lot of different ways that this could have kind of this domino effect on various characters. But more than I think about it, it would make sense if Randall ultimately becomes Fatima food. You see that Randall is cut up, kind of cleaning to death. I don't... Now, it depends on which direction... Like, does he eventually succumb to his injuries? Now, supposedly, um, if you read the synopsis, and uh, Randall is probably going to make it, um, but that doesn't mean that he won't die at some point. Again, all we know at this point is that he's alive. So we have to go into the assumption that he stays alive, but there is a possibility that, you know, they try to fix him. He, he can't be fixed and then ends up meeting his end at some point, uh, through his injuries, right? Cause he was pretty cor tor uh, tore up. He was pretty cut up face, like missing half of his face and stuff like pretty bad. So if he's just kind of say laying there, and Fatima goes and checks in on him. They have some conversation. They kind of have some talk, right? It's very possible that Fatima ends up taking out Randall. Like, Randall could potentially be her first kill, right? And kind of play it off as like, ah, he sir came to his wounds. Or the monsters came back and got him, right? Like... You know, the, they, they finished the job. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. They got back and they killed him. I, and nobody knows Fatima was the one that did it. Nobody knows that Fatima had any connections or tie-ins to it. It's just, hey. No, like, no, I was in Colony House, right? I was in the room. I, like, I do, I could see Randall kind of being the that first casualty directly tied to Fatima. Like, Nikki was the, the sample. Nikki was the taste. Right? No, let's dabble in it a little bit. Let's see. Like, oh, okay, yeah. Mm, yeah, okay. And now you start to gain, gain that quench. Start to get that thirst. This doesn't necessarily mean it happens this episode that's coming up. It's very possible that, you know, Randall may survive a couple episodes and then eventually succumbs to his wounds. There's a lot of ways that they go about it, but you can kind of see and feel the, the idea of, like, you know, okay, Fatima, she, she's got the taste now. She's kind of trying to to work through it. Randall's sitting there, you know, missing some of his face, missing parts. Like, you know, he's all tore up butt everywhere, right? And he's just trying to, like, hold on for dear life. Fatima comes in, and she's, like, you know, having a conversation with Randall. Randall doesn't know any better. Randall doesn't know. He's not any the wiser, right? So he's just... You know, have, thinking that everything's right, and then boom, right? Like, maybe you have a Sarah incident, and Fatima takes out Randall and starts to drink him and eat him, and okay, and then that's even more of the Fatima metamorphosis, more of the Fatima transformation. Fatima starts to become more and more consumed uh, by by the the thirst and the hunger, and then, like I said, maybe then the monsters start to enable her, start to aid her, right? Start to, to kind of set traps for, for various characters stuff, really try to get Fatima to turn, or or then maybe it's her baby, it's always possible it's her baby, but whatever it is, something is causing Fatima to now go from dying or, or dyed rotten vegetables to die rotten people, <laughs> right? So it's just like, how long until she takes that next step? How long until she takes that next stride? Kind of feel like Randall's going to end up being that casualty that is that next step, that is that next stride. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, and I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? Do, do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, do you think, like, yeah, Fatima, Randall's going to end up being the target, um, you know, He's going to end up being laid up in, in a hospital bed or something like that. And, you know, uh, Mary Ellie or, or Christy, when she comes back, is going to be trying to keep him alive. And, you know, she's going to end up going in there knowing, like, hey, Randall's dying. If he ends up dying, no one's going to question. No one's going to think anything of the wiser because he's falling apart already. That could be her opportunity to kind of get in there, take out Randall get quench her thirst a little bit here and then move on. They know, like, she's not, she's not going to succumb to it. She's going to 
be able to control it. She's going to be able to figure that out. Um, do you think that, do you think maybe Randall dies prior? Like, you know, hey, he succumbs to his wounds and stuff uh, prior in however you feel, whatever your thoughts are. I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.